pictures of the destruction in Yemen are beamed into the homes of millions of people almost every day. But the international community has so far failed or been unwilling to stop the bloodshed. This is the damage caused by some of the latest airstrikes on the outskirts of Sana. Adults and children dead, homes destroyed, and the desperation of survivors searching for loved ones among the rubble and bloodstains. Saudi warplanes targeted the house of my brother and his neighbors. I don't know what they're looking for and what they want. They're not fighters, they're civilians. A Saudi-led coalition of countries has been bombing Sana and other parts of Yemen for more than two years to try and restore the internationally recognized government ousted by Iranian-backed Houthi rebels. But as well as bombing military targets, the coalition is accused of killing hundreds of civilians. Dozens of people reported to be farm workers died in a strike on this hotel on Wednesday. Attacking civilians is a war crime, if proved to be deliberate. The coalition spokesman says Houthi fighters were the target. The UN has called for a comprehensive and impartial investigation. Human rights groups accuse both sides of committing atrocities. After more than two years of fighting, at least 10,000 Yemenis have been killed. Millions are on the brink of famine and the economy has collapsed. To add to the crisis, a cholera outbreak has killed more than 2,000 people and infected half a million. Hospitals which could help stop the spread of the disease are destroyed, along with other buildings and infrastructure. Saudi commanders insist coalition warplanes avoid civilian targets, but many have been hit. I think it's important that the High Commissioner of Human Rights and other bodies record these incidents and they make sure that there's some collection of evidence so that at some point in the future there will be some sort of uh, recrimination, there will be some sort of punishment for those who have been behind some of these acts that have taken place in this conflict which go against international humanitarian law. The US and its Western allies have sold billions of dollars worth of weapons to Saudi Arabia, backing the coalition militarily and politically. But as more civilians die in yet more airstrikes, that support is increasingly controversial. Duncan Crawford, Al Jazeera.